many youngsters come to me saying sir i have interest in biotech but i don't want to go into the lab and work for long hours give me a job where i can work on a computer and i can earn money well they all are fascinated right now by the it industry but that is where actually there is something in between biotech and it which can fulfill this desire so if you are someone who has a biotech degree or life science degree but wants to work in a lab instead of lab rather you would more you you would prefer a, a you know it job but still want to apply your biotech skills then bioinformatics is the field for you but hey wait do not get fascinated by bioinformatics just because i said you should go for bioinformatics you should first find out what are the steps from being a beginner in bioinformatics to becoming a expert in bioinformatics so this video i'll try to outline 10 easy steps which you should follow to become expert in bioinformatics and then you can get jobs in bioinformatics now truth be told bio it is exploding as we speak every biotech company is exploring probabilities of having a separate bioinformatics department which could accelerate their existing drug discovery or any kind of processes in fact the bioinformatics department of bioinformatics companies are now going one step further and hiring artificial intelligence and machine learning experts so that they can speed up their existing processes last week as i told you we have right now 100 plus clients who are outsourcing their bioinformatics and ai ml projects to biotechnica so my point here is if you really want to become an expert in bioinformatics then just follow these 10 steps and you're going to win now to start with you have to first understand what is bioinformatics what is the scope of bioinformatics and what kind of careers you can get in bioinformatics in many of my videos i've already talked about it but i will still still talk about it um, in brief so first you have to gain a clear understanding about bioinformatics so basically you're applying it into biotech right now let me give you an example if you are sitting in any part of the world and i am sitting in bengaluru india and then we are talking like this in different space time then it is happening because of technology i recorded this video on some other time and you are watching it in some other time right so what is enabling us to talk right now is technology the same way technology helps us save time and money so bioinformatics is one such technology which can be used to save a lot of time and money in wet lab because in wet lab we have to invest on the lab chemicals lab infrastructure the scientist salaries and lot more and then finally you come up you spend 10 years and then finally you come up with one molecule but the same thing can be done in bioinformatics in a few years so what takes 10 years there will take 20% of the time here that is where bioinformatics becomes interesting so that is about more or less about the basic layman definition of bioinformatics now let's talk about the scope of bioinformatics now one interesting thing you should know about bioinformatics is it has been there for last 30 years it's not that now it has come it was always there the problem in the old era was the same problem was there with youtube also it was a problem with every company which was on internet and that was computing power so the computing power which was there in 1990s or in the early 2000 was you know 100th of what it is today so what is there in your mobile today maybe 4 gb of ram or 8 gb of ram with the uh, processing speed of whatever it is today you have 10 times of that in a basic mobile correct what was there 30 years ago so that is why now bioinformatics is becoming more interesting and with the advent of artificial intelligence machine learning and quantum computing the scope is going to grow only till never go down okay so now we once we have understood the scope and uh, the definition of bioinformatics we will now jump on to the career opportunities what kind of jobs you can get so you can get jobs two types so broadly let's divide into two types the first will be someone who uses the bioinformatics software to do biotech experiments virtually okay another person would be someone who de develops bioinformatics 
software for this person. So what I said is person A and person B. So you can be either the person A or person B. Person A is the end user of bioinformatics tools, while person B is the developer of bioinformatics tools, right? So if you want to become a person A, then you don't need a, a degree also in bioinformatics. It's like, do you need degree to run or walk? No, you don't, right? Because it's a skill set. The same way, bioinformatics is a skill set. So you don't need to go into a degree buying spree and buy more degrees in bioinformatics to become successful here. You need to learn the skill set of bioinformatics. And that is where Biotechnica comes into picture. We have Bioinformatics Global Tools and Techniques uh, Internship where we train students just like you on bioinformatics tools, open source softwares, and we train you on how to use bioinformatics in your research. We also help you do projects with us. We, we also help you publish papers with us. And then finally, you will be becoming a experienced bioinformatician. So that's about the bioinformatics training we have. Now let's uh, let's look at person B. So a person who wants to develop tools for bioinformatics. Definitely there you need a degree. Definitely there you will need advanced degrees such as a master's or a PhD in bioinformatics. Plus you will need coding ability. You have to become a bio coder. In fact, if even if you want to become an AI ML expert also, still you need to learn coding. So you cannot avoid coding. Now, once we've understood the career opportunities and scope now, let's move on to the educational foundation. So like I said, the foundation has to be biology. So you need to have good knowledge of bio biology, biochemistry, microbiology, biotechnology, chemistry, and mathematics. Now, many students of biotech get scared from mathematics, but my point here is mathematics is in everywhere, whether it is ATGC, whether it is protein folding, whether it is transcriptomics, proteomics, genomics, metabolomics, no matter what it is, mathematics is a part of biology. Mathematics cannot be removed from biology. So stop avoiding mathematics, learn it. It's a skill again, right? So that's about the educational foundation. You need a basic degree. Now, after that, you need to understand the computer science basics, which nowadays everybody has. How a computer works, how, how to install a program, how to uninstall, that's basic things you should know. Followed by that, you should also have ideas about biostatistics, statistics, data analysis, and data interpretation. Now, these are again, this can be taught and we always do that. So yeah, this is something we should have. Next will be acquiring the relevant skill set. You have to acquire relevant skill set in some programming languages. Number one would be Python, Java, C++, SQL. So these are the things which you are going to use on a daily basis, right? And then you should also gain uh, experience on using bioinformatics software such as PyMol, right? So bioinformatics tools uh, such as PyMol, Blast, uh, Fast, ClusterW, Bioconductor, Cytoscape, these are the things you should know. Now, when it comes to database management, because you're going to st store data, you should know how to use NCBI, EMBL, and Ensemble. Now, followed by that, you should also learn about data visualization. So there's a special software for that. Uh, now, you can v visualize complex uh, biological data using matplotlib, ggplot2, and tableau. So you can utilize any of these to visualize the data which you have done through your bioinformatics software. Now, followed by that, of course, you will need some kind of certification, and that is where Biotechnica, like I said, you can take the bioinformatics global tools and techniques, and that skill set will definitely help you. You'll get work experience letter as well as a recommendation letter as well. Now, coming to the next and most important part is practical experience. So, at Biotechnica, we generally assign you a project investigator. Other places also, you will get that. So, work on a small project, okay? Take up small project and contribute to a open source bioinformatics project or a existing running project in any, any of the labs. Do some internship where you will um, work on some research project in tandem with some molecular biologist or biochemist so that their data you are analyzing on a real-time basis. So there are various biotech companies and institutes where you can uh, go and do your research. And then you have to, if you, if in case you are planning to make a, uh, you know, senior scientist, you want to become a senior scientist in bioinformatics, then definitely you should consider doing a PhD in bioinformatics and computational biology. Now, apart from that, you should also go for networking and uh, professional development. You should develop your soft skills. You should develop your communication skills, team building skills, team leading skills. These are very important. Followed by that, the last, probably the last step would be 
building your GitHub repository. Maintain a GitHub repository with projects, code, and an analysis so that you can produce it in front of uh, prospective employers when they ask you. And you have to publish more and more research papers in bioinformatics. And then comes the last part wherein you have to apply for a job. Remember, if you do not apply for a job, nobody randomly will come and give you a job. So apply for the job, tailor your resume and cover letter to highlight relevant skills and experience. And you have to be alert the moment a job is coming in bioinformatics, immediately apply. And then you have to keep yourself updated. And the best way to do that is subscribe to Biotechnica. So this, this was more or less uh, how exactly you're going to um, go ahead in with your career in bioinformatics. But now coming to the last part, many of the students just fantasize about it, think about it, but never take the first step. Remember, a person who takes the first step is a person who will reach the last step. A person, person who never took the first step cannot can never reach the last step. So take the first step today towards building a bioinformatics career. Remember, you might be a beginner today, but hey, an expert also was a beginner once upon a time. So all you have to do is enroll in Biotechnica's Bioinformatics Global Tools and Techniques Internship. And our experts, our scientists will put you into a real world project and give you a work experience letter, help you publish papers on the projects which you do. And that will help you establish yourself as a bioinformatician in your lab, in your company, or maybe in this world. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below and join us today. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.